Today, we are going to talk about a topic near and dear to my heart, and that is your credit score. 25 years ago, when we moved to New York, I had no idea about a credit score, but I quickly learned. When we wanted to rent our first apartment, the realtor said to me, so what is your credit score? And I said to him, what are you talking about? And he then explained to me, a credit score is something that is used to determine how likely are you to pay your bills, to pay on time, to determine if you have any big outstanding debt. We had just moved to New York from South Africa and I had zero credit score, but I quickly learned I need to get this. So in the process, I learned there are three companies that track your credit score. The first company is called Experian. The second company is called TransUnion and the third is called Equifax. So these three companies track your credit score and they have a numerical system that they rate you between um, 300 to 850 to determine if you are good or bad. So if you're in the bad category, and that is where I was 25 years ago, I had no credit history. And that is where many of my students often are when they just starting out. But if you use your credit responsibly, you can improve that, become fair. And I learned that years ago. When I had my first three paychecks, I went to Macy's and I opened a Macy's store card. Guess how much was my credit limit? A hundred dollars. But I was so pleased. It was my very first credit card in America. So three paychecks later, after six paychecks, I went to Lord and Taylor and I opened another credit card. And then my credit limit was 300. And I realized, yes, I am building my credit score. And I kept at it. Every weekend, I went to the stores and I bought something and paying off my credit card to build my credit score. That's how I went from bad to fair. Over time, I became good. So a few months later, I got my very first American Express. And that's when I realized my credit score is improving. And then over time, it became excellent. So that means I pay my bills on time. I don't have huge balances on my credit card card at all. And all of this makes that you can borrow money. And the money is not just borrowing money for shopping and on your credit cards. It means if you want to buy a house, an apartment, a car, these are big ticket items. The people that will lend you the money to buy the car or the bank where you will get the mortgage is looking at your credit score. And the lower your credit score, the higher is the interest. In other words, you will pay more every month. So hope you've learned a lot from this and from my experience. So tomorrow we continue our financial literacy series. So remember to please like, subscribe and stay in touch.